it is quite insane out here. I have a station for ironing the new vintage pieces. I have made a background in here where I'm going to shoot the pieces because the weather outside is horrific. And this is the piles of vintage clothing that I have over here with some accessories that I can change into throughout the process of shooting them. So hopefully this is going to look good. This is the first piece I'm going to shoot today. This vintage silk kind of blouse. It's super cool. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the first piece of the day. I just wanted to go get a mirror. I've removed all the plants in here because I'm using them in the kitchen. But I think I'm just going to bring this to the kitchen as well because then I can see like the outfits while I put them on. But before I'm going to shoot ooh, all of the new vintage pieces. I really want to see what's in this package. I've had it in my apartment since the day before yesterday and now I really want to open it. This package is from a girl called Louise from Canada and I got it in my PO box. That camera angle annoys me because you can't really see what's going on. There we go, I think that's better. So this package is from Louise from Canada and I had a sneak peek the other day when I picked it up but I could see that it was pretty interesting and then I wanted to like open it in a vlog. There is a letter in here. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that pattern. That's very cool. So dear Elise, here is a small package in thanks for your generous videos on YouTube and your inspiring photos on Instagram, Instagram, which were for me a real ray of sunshine in the end of December when I was ridden and confined to my house because of serious health problems. I'm not gonna read up the entire letter for you guys but this is like super duper cute. Thank you so much Louise. Um, so in this package there should be some pieces of Louise's that she don't really use anymore. So um, let's have a look in here and see what she sent me. There is like notes and everything. That's very cute. Jewelry handmade by young local opticians. The earrings might be a little bit crazy. The rings are made of glass and the necklace is made with resign. Wow. Re reason? Reason? Is that how you say it? You guys always correct me and I sometimes I don't really like it when you do this. It. it makes me feel like, like I'm really bad at English. Looks like this. Don't focus on my face. Look like this. Very beautiful. I love the color. Just gonna put it here. Wow, the rings are beautiful. Wow, I love these two so much. These are the rings. Look at those. Just amazing. One that's like light and one that's purplish. Those are so beautiful. And then the earrings, that should be a little bit crazy. They definitely are. I love crazy, so don't you worry. These are crazy. They're like a bird in, in, in earrings. Look at those. These are the earrings. They're like fabric earrings. This scarf was forgotten last year by a client where I work. It was never claimed, so here is it. Here it is, fresh washed and ironed for you. Not perfect, but still a beauty. It definitely is. Would look really cute wrapped around dreadlocks. Looks like this. And it is the perfect, like, you can see it's very long and thin. So it's perfect to wrap around dreadlocks. Thank you so much, Louise. That's lovely. Paperweight, handmade and painted in India. What is a paperweight? <laughs> Gonna have to look that up. Oh, it's like a rock. Can you see that? I heard in one of your videos that you sometimes had eczema with natural soap is perfect for that. Yeah. That's the soap. I bought these two scarves in the 90s. I only wore the white scarf ones, having nothing in my wardrobe that could match. I hope you like them. 
Oh, that would look very cool, like over your shoulders like that. That's very cool. And then the white one as well. Very cute. Thank you so much, Louise. I can definitely use those. And then a bag of tea. So cool. It is extremely popular in Canada among young trendy people. Some blends are amazing and taste like desserts. Maybe this is now I'm going to learn to drink tea. I'm not a big fan of tea, but if they taste like desserts. Laura Sickert established in 1913, the best no, no chocolate brand in Canada. Mmm, chocolate. Thank you, you treat me. Mwah. Since you love them so much, here are some paisley on paper to inspire your art wrap gifts on to be framed. This is perfect for not only like framing or gifting, but also as pieces that I can shoot like products on for Wonderlocks. Like this would be amazing for shooting rings on and such. So thank you so much. I was actually, I wanted to find some cool backgrounds backgrounds on the internet but this is like if the patterns inside are like this it's perfect it's perfect thank you so much Louise this package was amazing oh this is cool I'm gonna hang that up on my fridge this is like so my style on my fridge so thank you thank you thank you so much Louise this was like so nice of you what a great way to begin the day and now i'm gonna get started working shooting a bunch of new vintage that will be available when this when this video goes up so just wow just wow yeah let's get started working time it takes a long time and I actually fall for a lot more pieces than I expected that I would when they get on they just look really cool I think so I've fallen for a few pieces not gonna keep them though and um, now I'm gonna force myself to drink a glass of water to keep myself hydrated and then I'm going to iron these pieces that are too wrinkly for me to photograph so I'm going to do that for first a little bit of water. I'm still trying myself to model all of the pieces, including the ones that are bigger than me. But the pieces that are smaller than me, I'm going to have to put up on a hanger. I almost forgot that word. I'm going to put them up on a hanger and then just photograph them hanging because I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't fit into them. I have tried, I have a few pieces that are actually really beautiful. These two pieces I could not get into. This is one of them, it's a dress. I would reckon it's a size extra small to small. It's so beautiful, but I can't get my big head through. And yeah, I'm just a little bit too big. And then this one that's also so gorgeous. But I reckon it's also, it is a size extra small, this one. It's very, very beautiful, but not very big. Got some beautiful detailing, an Indian shirt. Really like gorgeous, but I can't fit into it. So those two I'm going to put up on a hanger and photograph. But I'm going to show you some of my favorites um, at the end of this video. So hang on to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna continue working. I have some ironing to do. I am finally done with all of these pieces. Done and exhausted. And I'm now going to clean it up, it all up. I'm going to take these pieces and hang them up on hangers. And wow, it took a long time. And I'm hungry now. I'm gonna close the window. Oh, but I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite pieces. I promise you that I would do that. So I'm just gonna have to find them. 
just gonna quickly show them to you and then put a clip on the screen of me wearing the piece so i don't know if all of these will be available this week or next week so i might show you pieces that will be up next week this one i actually really like it says in the dress that it's a size 42 which is like very untrue because when i put it on i can almost fit it like perfectly and when i put on a, a belt it looks so cool so this is one of my favorite ones and also the fabric is like totally me it's very soft and cotton i really like this one then i really like this piece if it was just a little bit longer i probably would have kept it it is a beautiful jacket dress like you can decide if you want to use it as a jacket or if you want to use it as a dress and then it has these beautiful silver buttons but this is a size small and it just looks so beautiful and it you just look so sophisticated with a red lip you could both wear this as a dress with tights you could also wear it with pants and then like a little bit open with something underneath it's just a very beautiful piece i really like this one then a 70s piece that or maybe even 60s i think this is like so much fun um it is like brown in this pattern like so cool actually but i think this is like a size large it is a it says it's 46 it's not a 46 but i would say it's a size large maybe an extra large um but i can wear this with a belt like with so many of these dresses i can actually wear it with a belt and that's the same with this one um so yeah i think this is really cool i don't think i have to say much about this it's just so cute with embroidered flowers up here very cute size medium then a beautiful beautiful dress for either spring or summer and for me this is kind of like build beverly hills vibes because of the color but it looks like this it's like a yellow dress with flowers on it and then it has a belt here and this one is a size large but could also be worn by a size medium so super cute piece and then the last of my faves there were a lot of faves and there are still so many amazing pieces down there maybe i forgot uh, one is this one i think this might be the piece that i'm closest to keeping myself because it looks so cool open and then with some a cool outfit underneath but this is like the last piece i really like this one as well and it got some very cool buttons black with like silver looks so cool so this one i would guess i don't know it's a size large or extra large but i love that it's oversized on me so um yeah this is the one that i am the most sad about leaving like <laughs> it is gonna leave at some point but um i can't keep everything and i know that i'm gonna fall in love with pieces every single week so that's just how it is elise i'm heading out to get something that you'll hopefully like and enjoy yeah when i get back we are gonna have another carpet on the floor here so that luna can run around a bit more right boo yeah so that you aren't gonna slide on the wooden floor why is it that you're just sitting there staring at us <laughs> is it another staring competition i'm not gonna join boo i'm not gonna join not today so my mom is on her way to come here and pick me up and then we're gonna drive to ikea to see if i can get another thing for luna that looks exactly like the other one that i already have and uh, this camera is flashing so i'm gonna change the battery to another one that i have but honestly i don't know if there's any battery on that one either so i'm just gonna bring it along and maybe i'll be able to vlog maybe it's gonna run out of battery cross your fingers and um, you're gonna find out very soon i'm gonna have to wait and see when we get to ikea Nå, så Puma, den var pæn. Jeg synes helt klart, at var bedst. Og det her er den grimmeste. Den grimmeste sko i verden. I'm back home. This is flashing. So I don't really have battery. 
I did not get another carpet for Luna because we didn't go to Ikea. Instead, we went to a pet shop and we just walked around Rosengossendel for a while. Mom looked at some shoes, as you could see, and I tried on these like huge, ugly shoes. But I did get a few things for Luna that hopefully I can just quickly show you before this runs out of battery. I got her some of these that I'm going to try and use in her toilet instead of the Spona that I'm currently using because they end up everywhere so that I have to vacuum clean every single day which is not something that I enjoy doing. She's on the toilet right now. So I also got her a new toilet because the one that she got smells horrible. I have tried to wash one of her toilets before. It is not possible. I got her a new one of these because the one that I'm using now, the holes are like too big so all of her poop like goes through it and then it doesn't really make sense to use it so I got one that's better and then I got her some treats that should be sugar free and good for her teeth and we've just tested one of them seemed like she liked it but she got a really a little bit confused because mom was here so it's right there that hay thing and um yeah those were the things that I got for her and I'm excited to change out her current toilet with the new one and the filling for it to see if that stays in there better but it is past seven o'clock um and i am really hungry my stomach is making so much noise so i'm going to make myself some dinner now and i'm going to chill in front of the tv so i know that i have not filmed a lot of clips today but some very long ones or i've talked a lot I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to, to my channel if you aren't. I have hit 180,000 subscribers, which is completely nuts. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Comment boogies if you watch till the end. Uh, I would love that. And I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye, guys.